There was no pomp and ceremony as the Princess of Wales arrived at Tokyo's Narita Airport. This is a semi-official trip, and the Japanese authorities are being careful not to accord it any of the trappings of a state visit. With her hair back to its usual style, the princess made her first port of call at a Japanese children's hospital, which enjoys close links with Great Ormond Street in London. After an introductory lunch, she surprised her hosts with a short speech. Niho no minasama konnichiwa. Matawai dekte urishku omoimas. Konomai niho nikite kara. Which apparently means I'm delighted to be here in Japanese. Her main purpose, though, was to sympathize with those caught in the recent earthquake. For the last three weeks, our thoughts have been with the children and families in Kobe and surrounding areas. My heart goes out for the victims of this savage, natural disaster and, of course, to their families. Although the princess is still well-liked here, only tiny groups have turned up to greet her. It's a far cry from her first visit when Tokyo was gripped by Diana fever. But then she was believed to be happily married. Now she's separated and the Japanese are less impressed. Knowing so many things being said about her, you know, about scandalous matters, um, and also she still is a royal member and been separated, that's a very difficult notion for us to accept. And therefore, uh, we have uh, much less of a fever now when it compares to that 1986. But her most avid fans still have a good word for her. Well, she's very beautiful and very, uh, very gentle, kindly and friendly. I think so. Uh, we don't know uh, what is true and what is not true, but we, we, I think we all feel sorry for her. During her four days in Japan, the princess will concentrate on charity work in a trip which seems designed to show off her caring side. After more than a year of semi-retirement, it also marks her full return to royal duties. In a country where protocol is of such importance, the Japanese have at times seemed uncertain how to treat the estranged wife of the British heir. It's a situation the Princess of Wales may have to become accustomed to as she tries to carve out an independent role. Caroline Kerr, ITV.